Hey there, folks. Are you guys and gals out in YouTube land? This is Ron from Ron's Beer Reviews and Tools. And I think we have a good one here from Lot Hobo Juice Lot. <laughs> Sounds good. It's a New England Indian Pale Ale with 6% alcohol by volume. I do have a treat. It's been a busy day here in uh, Eastern Massachusetts. Nice day, beautiful day. Spring is almost here. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mm, really good. Hundred and fifty calories per serving. The serving size is one. Like say three hundred calories. All right. Enough of that. Oh, here we go. Uh, you see here. Rod Hobo, Indian Pale Ale. Quite the can, quite the colors. I saw it earlier in the four pack that came with it. Uh, I didn't get much information off their web page, but um, I give what information I do have, excuse me. Uh, water, H2O, Vasa. Agua. Delicious. All right, let me get, give the information I do have. Here's the information I got doing due diligence on this brewery. Uh, Lot Hobo. Okay. Located over at 5 Draper Street. That's in Woburn, Massachusetts. And it was founded in 2015. <clears throat> they distribute to 15 states. I'm pretty sure that's probably along the northeastern coast. I don't know how far west, I know definitely New York, I don't know how far farther than that, but 15 states. Um, let's see, They at their brew they have a good sized tap room, uh, they're expanding it to five for 500 people, come May I think that's when they're going to expand it. Um, they are going to open up some satellite locations, one of them will be in Boston Seaport, that's right pretty close, close to the downtown area. Uh, not the shopping stores, etc. Over by Atlantic Avenue, from that area over there, but not on Atlantic Avenue, or, or off of Atlantic Avenue. Is it off of Atlantic Avenue? I think it's off of Atlantic Avenue, called Seaport. Uh, the founder is a Mr. Daniel Lanigan, and uh, if you go there, you'll see he has a, a good good dog there. The dog is called Boss, good watchdog, etc. Uh, he has driven his motorcycle six times across the United States. Six times. So, uh, that's pretty good. I'm figuring, um, wow, six times, yeah. Three times going to California, going to the West Coast, three times and back, six times. All right, no further ado. I do not, do not have any other information other than 6% um, uh, alcohol by volume. It's a juice load. It's a New England IPA. So let's see what it's uh, going to look like and taste like. We got a glass. Let's crack this open. Quite the day today. I didn't, couldn't finish what I wanted to do on my vehicle. I was working on it. I really couldn't get under the dashboard to do what I wanted to do. You need to be a contortionist to get under those things to do what you want to do. To get under there and be able to see, hold a flashlight or um, tools that you need and Hands to work. <laughs> this all in the dashboard, being upside down and cramped in there. All right, that's what we're looking like. Got a little sweetness to it. Some fruitiness. That looks like a green juice bomb. Oh, good combination. I can see the combination. Ah, uh, good combination. I want to give a couple of shout outs to uh, beer reviewers uh, over the years that have done good jobs. Uh, Backwards Billy, uh, beer reviews, he's down in the uh, Delaware area. Um, let's see. Uh, uh, craft Beer Pours, uh, they're in Massachusetts. Um, Alex the Beer Master. Um, you know, Drunken one. He's down. He's down in Texas. There's a gentleman uh, 
he does beer reviews and he's doing food now he's out in Oklahoma and uh, right now his name escapes me um, but uh, he's, he's I wish I could remember the name he, he had a good channel uh, Scout Craft had a good channel he's really good he's with he's with the tools uh, I I don't know I will uh, get to the brew we're doing the beer review but uh, go to those channels so find uh, find uh, reviews much entertainment on them good folks all right that looks pretty good cheers Mm. Very drinkable. Definitely, yeah. Uh, down the line, the New England juice bomb. Uh, it is a juice bomb. No astringency. Not even picking up on bitterness. Picking up on fruitiness. Uh, actually, that was like strawberry, a strawberry flavor. Strawberry, nice sweetness of that fruitiness. Would be nice to know what hops are in this, or what um, grain is in this. But uh, it is in the line of, of uh, it, it is a New England juice bomb. Not exact flavor as uh, another competitor in Boston, but mm. this is a, a juice bomb. Has some melon flavor to it. There's definitely got to be some uh, citrus hops in this. I don't think it has its partners of uh, Mosaic or Galaxy. It's not giving that kind of a fruitiness, like a tropical fruit. A strawberry flavor. Doesn't, it doesn't say it's added anything into that when I went on their webpage. But um, somewhat of a, a sweet strawberry flavor. Very drinkable. I could drink this right down in a couple of gulps because of uh, what a day it's been. <laughs> nice day too in uh, Massachusetts. It's uh, had to be about 60 degrees, 61, 62. Nice and sunny. So I got to go out and work on my vehicle. Beautiful day for uh, for March. All right, uh, we'll end this here by saying you see what it looks like. The aromas are a sweetness of uh, some fruit. Nothing heavy on the aromas. On the taste, there's no alcohol pickup. It's six percent, and that that's a nice number. Very drinkable, very, very drinkable. Has the, has the fruitiness flavor, and it's a, it's, it's a juice bomb, a juice bomb, different than a couple other juice bombs I've had. Now that fruitiness, some kind of melon. I've had melon. I, I'm not that familiar with melon names, but um, it's not cantaloupe. Cantaloupe has really got a good good strong melon flavor this is I'm picking up on the melon I think of all the melons that my my mother used to purchase all types of melons which was nice I remember the honeydew maybe this is honeydew melon remember those that's in peace mom uh, all right I won't run this line we'll end this here I just want to say uh, the virus is still around. Uh, be careful. A lot of people are getting uh, getting the shot, getting vaccinated, which is nice, getting the shot. And uh, but it's still around. A lot of people haven't gotten the the, the, the shot. And then they could be be carriers. So uh, still wear your mask. Social distancing. Keep your hands away from your eyes, your nose, and your mouth, particularly uh, your nose. You breathe it in. See if that's where they test from. Um, but anyways. Uh, going to drink, drink responsibly, don't drive. Enjoy the day, fantastic. Spring is just around the corner. Uh, next week is uh, St. Patrick's Day, that's always a nice day I like. Enjoyable day. 
We won't be able to do the functions that we, uh, my family and friends, we used to always do. But uh, we're getting there. We're getting there. So have a good day, folks. Ciao.